and just like that. Hey guys, it's Marco from Nari Media, and today I'm gonna to show you another new tool, newish tool. Once again, it was released with the big update of the Google I.O. event uh, a couple weeks ago, and this is called Firebase. So this is actually even easier to build an app. I'm gonna start in Gemini though, because I kinda wanna describe the app I'm looking for, so it gives it a little bit better direction, and we'll get into it. I'll show you all the really cool features, and yeah. Stay tuned. As always, like I recommend, come into your large language model. You can use ChatGBT for this as well. I'm just sticking in the Google realm these days because they're they're killing it. I actually am a big, big fan of all the Google products. Let's start with the prompt. Hey, Gemini, I'm working with Firebase, your new Google AI app builder, and I need to build an app. So can you help me with a prompt I'm looking for a meditation app that ties into moon cycles and my mood, and it will give me a custom built affirmation and meditation and breath work based off my mood and the moon cycle, as I stated. I'm all about the, uh, I don't use my keyboard anymore. I'm all about the voice to text. As you can see, it reaffirms, of course, crafting the right pomp is key for the best results. As always with anything in AI, input equals output. If you put in bad input, you're gonna get bad output. So you can see here, it really breaks down. Um, personalized screen. This, this might be really complex. I wanted to do a more simple example, but let's try it out. Let's take this, because if you're trying to build an app, like a scheduling app or this and that, you're gonna want all these details. So let's copy this and we'll head over to Firebase Studio now. So you can see firebase.studio actually is the, is the uh, I'll put the link down below. But yeah, let's, then you go try it out right here. All right, so once you're in here, you'll see it's just an app you can see they give you examples of the prototype app and you know you can do a tipping calculator, recipe generator, just simple things like that. But I want to build something custom and you can also add attachments. So perhaps if you had a visual of what you wanted to kind of build, you can attach it in here and it's giving the program a recommendation. But if you don't put this front end, like if you don't want to say, oh, it's not on JavaScript, whatever. Just leave this blank, watch, because this is what it's I, uh, Google recommended, but let's remove that and let's see what it recommends. All right, so the cool thing about this here is here's the plan how we're gonna build the prototype. I just put that prompt in and it's gonna say, here's the key features. You can edit this though. So this is where you can come in and customize. So if you're like, um, display the current date and moon phase with a visual icon. No, I don't want a visual icon. I want text, right? You can just go in there and hit the customize here to customize. As well for colors, it's a minimalist layout. It's gonna have the font. So you can choose the font here. And then here's what it recommends for your AI stack and your UI. It's gonna tell you what to use. Next.js, Tailwind. So don't worry about if you're not too familiar with this. You can push down and it'll actually explain the type here, what, what it is, popular to add safety, popular built on React. So let's prototype this app. And just like that, it's starting to build. And it's that simple. So I'll let you know how long this takes. I'm gonna go have a nap <laughs> and I'll be right back. All right, and just like that, it took probably I don't know, three minutes, four minutes to build this. So here's what it's looking like. It just popped this out and add your Gemini API key now. So this is to give it the brains so to link to like the in internet and do some thinking and reasoning, like potentially, you know, your custom meditation, you want it built, right? Every time it's different. So how to get your Gemini API key .google.com. Now you can get a free API key with Gemini, which is pretty cool. I think you need to have your credit card in there as well in order to get access to this. But All right, so to create your API key, you go over to aistudio.google.com and I will put the link down below as well. And pretty much you just go here, create API key. And there you go, copy it. That and pop it into here. All right, so now that I've added the API key, it's gonna be more intelligent. So let's try it out. The date's right. It's a full moon tonight? I guess so. <laughs> so let's say I'm happy. 
generate my session. It's given me my affirmation, my guided meditation, and my breath work. Oh, cool. Now, one other really cool thing about this is you can, there's three little buttons here. So you can use this here to actually go to different sections and you can click here and describe change. Say, I want this button to have a glow effect and it's gonna edit over here. Okay, <laughs> it gave it a glow effect, but it's like a pulsing glow. It does say pulsing glow effect. I guess I should be more specific. That's the thing. That's what I was saying. Like the more specific, how is it going to know? How is it going to read my mind? Maybe one day, but <laughs> not yet. So let's edit that. So go back to this tool here, click. And there's two issues now. So you can auto fix the error. It's going to try to fix it. And the second error it does seem to auto troubleshoot. And this was all like to get a prototype and I'll show you how you can get the link to your phone because it's hosted on the cloud, it's Google, right? All right, there, so now my button is not uh, pulsing anymore. One other really cool feature is the annotate button, which is right here. So this actually makes you be able to annotate. You can just draw and send instructions. Like the mouse here, you can just do a draw tool right here, make it white. And I want it to go up and down. And I want a ball. Let's move this here. Let's move this over. I want a little ball. And instructions, I want the ball to move with the breath. And maybe, you know, up and then on a loop. So let's actually draw a box around here. Just take this and delete because I want the ball to go up, hold. It's like that. I kind of drew what I wanted instead of uh, visually because sometimes you're trying to explain it via text and it is still better input, better output. So I'm really hoping that it can change that. It might, I didn't say remove the big circle, so it might do the box and then <laughs> still have the circle, but let's see. Let's see how the update worked. So today I'm feeling a little energetic. Uh, let's generate the session. Okay, we got the affirmation, the guided meditation. Okay, cool in <sighs> this is working exactly the way I drew it with the little ball. I mean, I made the ball a little bigger, but pretty cool, right? Um, so this would obviously change on the duration of the custom breath work that it gave you based off your mood and the moon. So yeah, the next thing I wanna show you guys, this is the back end here. This is kind of when, if you're using cursor or anything like that, you'd be able to see all this and yeah, pretty cool. You can do web here and you can also chat straight with Gemini. And this is amazing. So you can change your built-in model here and you can so you can pop back to the web to Gemini. So you're you can troubleshoot right through here built in with this is amazing because this is one of the only web based that I know of platforms like this. The cool thing I'm going to show you is the live preview. So you come here and you can actually make this public. And then what you can do is you pop it here. There's actually a live QR code. So what you can do is you can actually scan that with your phone. Test it right on your phone by scanning the QR code. So isn't that cool? Creating my session and just like that. So if you're building a prototype for someone, this is the best way to test it. And when you're ready, you can remove public access. The other cool feature once you switch to code mode as well is there are extensions. So there's all the popular extensions. You can go, you can publish this straight to GitHub as well. It integrates directly. The final thing I wanna show you guys is when you're ready to publish, 
it publishes it here. It does link to cloud billing. So you do, the one thing you have to pay for is the hosting of the app. But other than that, everything else is free. And this is like game changing. You select your billing account and that's it. So I hope you guys liked and enjoyed.